Hi guys, okay, so in this video, I'm going to show you guys the second method of updating your Phantom 3 drone and this time it's using the SD card and a download off of the internet. Hope that you guys enjoy. Please like and subscribe and this is an uh, this actually successfully works. So um, if you haven't seen the original version, you can also check out the original version where I use the phone and the remote controller to update the drone, but you can also use this manual method if you're having any other issues and so forth. Hi guys, okay, so the first thing we need to do is we need to visit the official DJI uh, Phantom website, Phantom Tree's website. Um, in this case, I have a Phantom Tree standard, so I'm here at www.dgi.com slash phantom dash tree dash standard slash info. And what um, I noticed is that we need to head down to this section here where there's downloads and of course click on downloads and then it slides down. To the download section and here you see firmware and under firmware we see that um, a release was recently done um, this was uh, in June June 29th right so it's the latest release 1.0902 and so this is what we download so we just click on the zip file and perfect so we're downloading it there now if you need further instructions they do have it updated now so you see how to update the firmware version for uh, 1.4 and um, there's a PDF file and you can read the PDF file um, but if you stay tuned to the video uh, we will go into very simply how to do the update uh, it's very very easy uh, it, to do the update it's an, of course it's a zip file so you need to unzip um, the zip file and get the actual bin file and um, this is pretty hi guys okay so we just downloaded the file i just unzipped it you'll see it here as p3 cfwv010902 um, so this is the bin file and um, of course we need to actually connect our uh, sd card the sd card that we'll be using on the phantom so i also have that here and as you notice the sd card already has a bin file now there's two ways the two ways of updating of updating here um, essentially both will re will require us to copy the new bin file to the SD card. Um, it's always suggested that there is no bin file and there's already a bin file here. So what I'll do is I'll just rename this file to perhaps old. You can of course um, delete this entire directory altogether and go with a blank um, SD card for it to work. And that should be fine as well too. So essentially we're going to copy this bin file, copy and paste it onto the SD card and it's going to copy the file to the SD card. As I said, it's recommended that you don't have any other files on it, but I'm just going to rename it as I said, because um, I, I don't need to really update. I already updated already. Hi guys. Okay. So we're back. And the first thing we need to do before doing anything with the drone is of course, making sure that the propellers are off before doing updates. So this is what I'm going to do right now. Great. So the propellers are off and now we need to take the SD card and place it into the slot of the Phantom. Next of course the Phantom doesn't have the battery in so power up the Phantom with the battery. Press once and then once again to power up. Okay guys, so now according to the manual, the manual says prepare the firmware, put the firmware in, which you would have seen that, you would have seen us put that in to the SD card slot of the aircraft and then power on the aircraft, which you also saw. The camera status indicator will blink red and green to show that the update is in progress. 
and then during the update the camera status indicator will become solid green and the aircraft will sound beep 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 when the update is complete if the update is not complete you'll you'll see a red light a solid red light and then a long beep that's what this is saying here now because i did the update already um interestingly enough the actual file says so so i when i look at this you look at the p3cfw result dash ab.txt file and the ab.txt file because i did the update already it says in my case the firmware and the sd card is identical to or older than the current firmware um, and so it aborted um and uh, that's pretty much it guys so if you did actually get this correct you would have seen in that same firmware file you would have seen success um so guys thanks so much for viewing please subscribe please like my channel and um ask me any questions you need to ask me concerning the phantom tree and i would love to answer you guys and also maybe create a video uh, answering your questions as well thanks again see you guys again bye bye